Hello. I just wanted to quickly go over some of the new functions and features in AutoCAD 2012. Uh, this will be kind of a brief video. Uh, we'll have plenty of videos to follow on the actual um, features themselves. This is going to kind of review what's, what's overall new in AutoCAD 2012. Um, quickly, real quick, uh, some of the things that ProSoft does uh, is multiple media outlets to where you can follow us on any of these sites. Uh, we have our Facebook, we have our Twitter, uh, YouTube, where you'll find lots of links, mainly civil, mainly Revit stuff, um, to videos, to tips and tricks on different items. Uh, we each have our individual LinkedIn accounts. We also have a new ProSoft blog that will go over kind of the what's new, uh, has some tips and tricks, and just some general uh, features and functions throughout the year. So some of the new stuff that ProSoft's trying to do, um, getting that content out there uh, for the users. So what's new in AutoCAD 2012? There's some new model documentation tools that will allow you to automatically generate um, intelligent drawing views for your AutoCAD inventor or other models. So if you have a 3D view, you can quickly and easily generate um, a plan view of those, annotate it up, scale it up, do what you need to. And it's a dynamic link to it. So if you change your 3D model, if you change your, you know, your engineering model, it's going to change those views. Uh, you can also import models from a, a more of a wide variety of applications. So your your Pro Engineer, SolidWorks, RX, uh, different softwares like that that you can now import directly into AutoCAD. You will no longer hear beeps until someone else joins the conference. Yeah. Autodesk Inventor Fusion. Yeah, you'll see this on the install that you can. Uh, you'll now install the Inventor Fusion with your AutoCAD 2012. So you can experience the benefits of um, easy to use 3D in that native DWG format that you're used to using in AutoCAD. Um, integrates quickly and easily between AutoCAD and the and Inventor Fusion environments. Um, edits and validates models from, again, those other sources, being your SolidWorks and your NX. Um, so working very closely now with the Inventor Fusion. The associative array, so you can establish and maintain a set of relationship between arrayed objects, so windows or trusses, um, array objects along a specified path. You know, before you were, you were restricted to just rectangular or polar options, um, now you can specify a path to array that around. Uh, and you can also do that in the 3D. So if you're in a 3D view or 3D model, you can now array selected objects in that 3D view. Point cloud support. Uh, previously, last year, um, they released the point cloud support. Uh, you can bring in up to 2 billion points, uh, 2 billion scanned LiDAR points. So you can see that scan, and you can work directly with that scan. Um, so streamlines, you know, renovation, restoration projects, um, as built, just different things in AutoCAD that you couldn't do in the past, you can now do that with that LiDAR scan. Multifunction grips, uh, we've see, seen it in the past version with uh, polylines, for example, where you could grab a polyline and um, it had more grips and it had multifunction grips in there. Uh, those multifunction grips have been extended to different objects like your lines, arcs, uh, M-leaders, edges, vertices, and dimensions. As you see here, it's just a dimension that has you know, multiple grips, and each one of those grips you can now have multiple options in there, you know, continuing dimension, dimensions, flipping arrows, and, and so forth. Some more surface modeling tools um, with AutoCAD getting more and more geared towards a 3D. Um, you have now more modeling tools. So uh, more flexibility, more control when designing in 3D, uh, create smoother surfaces and surface transitions more easily, uh, maintaining those relationships between the different surfaces, um, and using surface analysis tools so you can gain a more clear understanding of kind of what's going on in your project and your, in your design. AutoCAD WS, if you haven't seen this, this was, again, released last year. Um, great tool, great office collaboration tool. Uh, you can take this and you can, you can download it. You can put it on any of your mobile devices. You can um, have it on your home computer or your client can have it on their computer. They may not have AutoCAD, but they could download the AutoCAD WS and it's free. So you can work directly in that um, AutoCAD environment and maybe your client wanted to make a couple red lines or something, kind of a more enhanced um, design review. 
it's a great tool. It's a great way to collaborate. It's a great way to, to get ideas across uh, with people who don't have AutoCAD or don't have access to their de computer at that time. Some of the new additional tools on here is a command line enhancements. So uh, autocomplete options, you can start typing in your command and you'll, you'll see a list of those commands pop up. Uh, the Content Explorer, so you can find your design content based on objects or attributes. Uh, it creates an index of your data and tells you where to look for it so you can quickly access those files. The Autodesk ex Exchange in AutoCAD, so you can get a lot more tips and tricks, um, some, uh, some getting started videos, more help content, and brings you, you know, brings all that stuff directly to you through your AutoCAD workspace. So it's not, you don't have to go out searching for it. And now it kind of brings things a lot closer to home in, in your AutoCAD 2012. The copy tool in your copy array uh, now allows you to create linear, non-associative arrays and just different tools and different copy tools in there. Uh, there's a new blend tool, creates spline objects um, with tangent options, smooths, smooths them out, um, you know, gives it continuity between curves and speeding up documentation time. So um, a lot of new basic AutoCAD tools have just been enhanced. Uh, delete duplicate objects. There's kind of a, a map cleanup tool if you use Map 3D uh, that will go in there and it will search your, your project based on parameters and, and clean up that drawing. You know, now AutoCAD 2012 has um, some options similar to that. Uh, just allows you to delete duplicate objects uh, a lot more quickly. Some more tools, um, M leader enhancements, so you have more control over your leaders, uh, more control over your text and your leaders, um, extending leader lines and, and so forth. Uh, there's some more in canvas viewport controls. So while you're in that, that viewport canvas, you can, you can change your settings, you can change your views, and you can change your visual styles. So just more controls over your, your project. Easier uh, migration tools, so if you're coming from uh, previous versions of AutoCAD, uh, sometimes that migration is a, a little rough, but uh, in 2012 it has more um, en enhanced tools to migrate your palettes, to migrate your settings, um, and install those different settings uh, from those past ones. So it makes that headache a lot easier. Some of the converting tools, the DWG Convert, uh, allows you to translate DWG files created with AutoCAD or LT, uh, any of the past versions, so you can go back and forth between versions on this uh, d with using the DWG convert. So if you work with someone with, you know, an AutoCAD 29 and you complete a project in 2012, you can convert that even in a batch mode. So you can create, mo convert multiple files at once. Uh, quickly and easily go there and it makes collaboration a lot more easier. So again, just wanted a quick view of, of what's going on and what's new in AutoCAD 2012. Uh, look for some videos coming out within the next couple of days after this video. And uh, if there's anything you need, please feel free to call us, feel free to email us, and uh, thank you very much.